What's going on guys? Jax the Bearded Hiker here. So the video is finally here that a lot of you have been waiting on and it's on the Barker Lounger. So I take it with me every time I go backpacking. It only weighs six ounces and what I use this for if you don't already know is I use it a lot of times for just putting it on the ground, laying my gear out so I can keep it off the ground and keep it dry. I'll also sit on it sometimes uh, to keep my butt dry. I'll also put it in my hammock and it keeps me warm in the winter. So I'll lay it outside my hammock, use it as a changing station. Also when it rains, I'll take this and cover my stuff with my backpack or shoes or whatever else. I mean this thing has so many different uses and basically what it is, is it's Tyvek and I have a piece, piece of 1 8 inch foam that's sewn into it. I'm going to show you guys how, how to make it. So I'm also going to leave a link in the description to Dutch Wear Gear where I got the Tyvek from and I'm also going to leave a link in the description on where I got the closed cell foam from which was Goshmer Gear. Let's get busy! Alright so our first step in this process is we're going to wash our Tyvek in just plain water in the washing machine. No softener, nothing. Just plain water. Uh, if you notice here in the right hand corner we have our 8 inch foam pad that we got from Gossamer Gear and I believe it's 59 inches in length. Uh, it comes pre-cut. So the first thing you're going to do is make sure you try to get the tie back as straight as you can. I have, I'm going to bring you over closer so you can take a look at this. Alright guys, so this is the way I've laid the, the foam pad out. I've left about an inch space between the top and here on the sides. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this Tyvek. I'm going to take the end of that Tyvek and fold it to where it meets up here. Okay guys, I've folded uh, my Tyvek up and as you can see we have a little bit of overlappage here. Uh, right here is the end. Now I did leave an inch of space at the bottom as well when I folded it over. So it doesn't have to be perfect at this point, but we're just gonna start cutting our uh, tie back here and try to get it as straight as possible if you can. And it would probably better be better if you had like a straight edge that you could use, but we're just winging this. Uh, like I said, it's not gonna be. It doesn't have to be too perfect. All right, that's. Fairly good. We'll clean it up uh, as the process takes shape. All right, so the next thing I do is I like to line these edges up and just kind of stick some pins in here because we're going to be cutting that other side. So I like to match up the ends of the Tyvek, come down with a pin, and also catch the pad in the pin as well just so it doesn't move around. And I'll do that all the way until we get to the bottom. And I just go about every five or six inches or so. As you can see, I kind of pull the tie back tight as I pin. And I want to throw this out there, guys. I'm not a professional uh, sewer here, so some people could probably do this a lot better than I can. This is just the way I do it. And it works. I've been carrying uh, the Barca lounger for quite a few years now. All right guys, so the next step, what I've done is, I, just to make, give me a little bit of a straighter edge, I've laid this four foot level out and I can kind of feel the pad in here. And I'll use about a thumbs width all the way down. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna head just cut a straight line all the way to the end. That'll give us three sides, two sides plus the top that we're going to need to sew. Okay guys, I've cut all the way down and I've unpinned it from here. So we're just going to throw that back. Oh, we forgot a pin here. Go ahead and throw that back and then we're going to reline everything up, make sure everything's nice and uh, like we want it and uh, we'll repin it and we'll start sewing. Alright guys, so I went ahead and cut the excess off and uh, we just pinned it and I got basically a pin here, a pin here, a pin here and the same on the other side. 
you got to be very careful with this and make sure that you get this step right here is pretty precise and notice we've turned this where the actual writing is showing we're going to sew both sides and then we'll turn it inside out put, put our pad in there and then finish off the end and uh, i'm just going to kind of keep these straight as i'm sewing i'm going to make sure i line them up and sew and i'm just going to be sewing basically the width of the sewing foot uh, i hope that makes sense uh, you could pin this whole side if you wanted to i just find it's going to be easier to do it this way and guys i want to throw this out there i'm not really sure if it matters if you wash this first or after uh, the reason that i wash it is just to pay, uh, basically keep it a little bit more quiet. It would, truthfully, it would probably be easier to cut this out, have everything cut, and then throw it in the washer after uh, you've got everything cut and whatnot. It'd be a lot easier rather than having to pull these wrinkles out to pin it and whatnot. All right, guys, so I wanna say that I'm using 100% nylon D4 thread, uh, color is 900, it's black. Um, it's a pretty strong thread. So you see, notice here, I'm about a foot, the sewing foot length away. So let's do this now. Go forward, and then we're gonna do a locking stitch, two back, and we're gonna go forward. So let's do this. And pulling it tight as you go, making sure that you're not off like this, okay? Here we go. Sew a little bit, make sure you're straight. Sew a little bit more, make sure you're straight. Don't fight the machine. All right, we're coming towards the end here. All right, notice we got our pin. We're gonna pull our pin, still holding everything tight. Get to the end. We're gonna do a back stitch and then run everything off all right okay guys we are on the other side and we're going to go ahead and start a couple stitches a couple back stitches make sure you lock it off and we're ready to rock and roll again all right guys so now would be the point uh if you wanted to cut off some of this excess uh, stuff here you could just make sure you stay on the opposite side of your thread okay well um, I'm just gonna see how this fits first but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take my pins out and we're gonna turn it right side in, right side out now and we'll check our pad for sizing we'll check I don't want to make that crinkly noise anyway we're, we're gonna check our uh, stick our pad in here and make sure we got everything uh, right. And hopefully it should fit. All right, we turned it right side out. So this is, this is a, little, uh, a little bit precarious and you just gotta work with it. Go ahead and stick our foam in and then we'll start laying it down. And I'm not gonna bore you with it, but I think everybody knows how to stick a pad in a sleeve here. All right guys, we got everything locked off. So we're gonna Finish off this uh, top part. Make sure you lock it. All right, here we go. Let's pull our pin. Make sure you're not catching the pad now. See my pad? I'm making sure I put my fingers here so I'm not catching the pad at all. Alright guys, so uh, now, right now, you, we got this top sewn closed here, and you can see this is the only part of this that's going to be showing, and uh, I'm going to just clean it up. I'm going to use my good cigar, uh, scissors here, the gangers. Uh, they just give me a cleaner cut, and we're just going to cut along this uh, line here as straight as we can, just to clean it up and look good. Um, this is actually going out to Adam, the weekend hiker. He wanted me to make him one of these. So, uh, Adam, you should be getting this uh, sometime this week. I know you've waited a while for it, so... Enjoy! Enjoy! 
There you go, guys.